Zeke the robot has powered to Earth to learn all about our animals. Let's join Zeke on his adventure as he discovers the world of creepy crawlies and meets a slithering snake. Along with amazing arachnids like this hairy spider. Strap on your explorer boots and hold on tight as we venture into Zeke's animal world. Zeke, our first creepy crawly, is the beautiful butterfly. Butterflies are best known for their amazing life cycle, going from caterpillars to become these wonderful winged creatures. The butterfly has four stages in its life cycle, Zeke. It starts as an egg, then becomes a caterpillar, the caterpillar becomes a chrysalis, and then the adult butterfly emerges. Isn't that amazing? Many butterflies have intricate and pretty patterns on their wings, like this striking blue, Zeke. The beautiful designs are for camouflage, so that predators like birds can't see the butterflies in the trees. Butterflies taste food by standing on it. This is because their taste sensors are found in their feet. Oh, looks like this bee wants a taste too. Pollen from the flowers gets attached to the butterfly's legs and it's carried from plant to plant, helping to spread seeds and create new plants. Moths are members of the butterfly family too. Some moths build a case around themselves that they always carry with them. It's made of silk, pieces of plants or soil. While butterflies fly during the day, moths like to come out at night. Zeke, caterpillars are very hungry creatures. They spend practically all their time in search of food. They have to store up a lot of energy so they can form their chrysalis. Yes, Zeke, these flowers do look pretty, and this is where the butterflies get their favorite food, nectar. They drink the nectar through a long straw-like structure called a proboscis. Some butterflies lay their eggs on the underside of plants. Others lay them in mid-flight. Others, like the cabbage white butterfly, lay their eggs on cabbage leaves. Zeke, butterflies have six legs and feet but they're so delicate, they only weigh as much as two rose petals. Butterflies fly during the day and close their wings when resting. Yes, Zeke, this is a big butterfly. They can come in all shapes and sizes and loads of amazing colors and patterns. Zeke, did you know that butterflies can be found mostly anywhere in the world where it's not too hot or too cold? Okay, let's fly over what we've discovered about butterflies. We know that they start life as a caterpillar and have brightly colored wings. They get their food from flowers and lay eggs on the leaves of plants. Now you're up to date on butterflies, Zeke. Zeke, have you ever heard someone say, I'm as busy as a bee? Well, when you meet our next creepy crawly, you'll understand how that saying came about. Bees are very intelligent insects. You can see here they are busy, all working together to make lots of delicious honey. Bees have very long tongues, and this allows them to collect nectar from flowers. The bees are very hard working. They search out nectar, then take it back to their home, called a hive. The honeybees return to the hive and pass the nectar on to other worker bees, who then start making the honeycomb. You can always spot a bee by its bright yellow and black stripes. The bee in charge of the hive is called the queen. 
Bees are attracted to all these beautiful flowers, Zeke. Imagine all the pollen they can collect. That means more delicious honey. Yum. Don't get too close, Zeke. Bees can sting if you bother them. So let's recap all the sweet facts about the bee. Bees have yellow and black stripes on their bodies and they collect pollen. Bees work very hard to make honey and the queen is in charge of the hive. That's the buzz on bees, Zeke. Well done. Come on, Zeke, we've got more creepy crawlies to meet. This time it's the locust and these guys are often on the move. Locusts are part of the grasshopper family and they can travel great distances. A group of locusts is called a swarm and they have a big appetite. A swarm of locusts can quickly strip fields and do damage to farmers' crops. Here's a tip, Zeke. Never invite a group of locusts home for tea. A large swarm of locusts can consume 20,000 tons of vegetation a day. Locusts are amazing jumpers, Zeke, particularly the females. The muscle from the back leg of an adult female can develop a force that could almost lift a bag and a half of supermarket sugar. That's right, Zeke. When locusts swarm, there can be millions, even billions of them moving across the countryside. Locusts like to live in grasslands, fields, meadows, and just about anywhere they can find generous amounts of leaves to eat. There's one having his lunch now, Zeke. Locusts are very good at blending into their environment. This one looks as if he's part of the plant. When a locust is picked up, they spit a brown liquid. Some scientists think that this liquid may protect them from attacks by other insects, such as ants. Zeke, locusts are herbivores. That means that they get all their energy from eating plants and only plants. They don't eat anything else. These locusts are certainly in a hurry. I think the word has gone out that there's some juicy plants nearby. Even an oncoming car won't deter the locusts from eating. These little guys can eat their own weight in plant matter. A more attractive feature of the locust is its ability to sing. It's the males that sing, and they do it to attract female mates or to warn off other males. Watch out, Zeke. Locusts can jump 20 times the length of their own bodies. All right, let's jump into what we've learnt about locusts. We know a group of locusts is called a swarm, and they belong to the grasshopper family. Locusts like to live in grasslands, and they're herbivores, which mean they only eat plants. Well done, Zeke. This creepy crawly looks like it's at an all-you-can-eat buffet. In fact, this mosquito is having a feast of its favorite food, blood. I know it sounds a bit gruesome, Zeke, but when a mosquito bites you, she sucks up her own weight in blood. Only the female mosquito bites. She needs the protein to produce her eggs. Look how fast the wings on this mosquito are moving. It's the wings you can hear as a mosquito buzzes around the room. Mosquitoes don't live long, Zeke. A female will buzz around somewhere between three and a hundred days. The male, 10 to 20 days. Have you ever been bitten by a mosquito, Zeke? It comes up in a red lump and can be very itchy. If you're going out in the evening, it's a good idea to wear a repellent so the mosquitoes will leave you alone. Just like the butterfly, the mosquito has a long proboscis, but theirs is used to sting. Mosquitoes like to live around water and wetlands, and this is where they breed and swarm. 
<laughs> this mozzie is certainly having a good feed, Zeke. Make sure you're not next. Ooh, that's going to sting. It's hard to believe that these tiny insects are actually very dangerous. Many diseases are transmitted by mosquitoes. Okay, Zeke, what have we discovered about this creepy crawly? We learnt that female mosquitoes suck blood and their sting will come up in an itchy lump. The mosquitoes' wings move so fast that they buzz and they like to live in wetlands. That's mosquitoes covered, Zeke. I don't know about you, but I suddenly feel very itchy. Zeke, our next creature doesn't creep and it doesn't crawl. It slithers. Yes, it's the snake. And this is one animal that is best admired from a distance. It's never a good idea to go close to a snake and you should always tell an adult if you see one. Poisonous or harmless, large or small, all snakes from the desert rattlesnake to the dwarf pipe snake have certain things in common. A long, thin shape, scaly, legless bodies, and unblinking, lidless eyes. Snakes are reptiles, and that means that they rely on the heat of the sun to control their body temperature. That's why the greatest variety of species is found in the warm, humid, tropical regions of the world. Some snakes live in trees. Some come in unusual colors, but they all have a forked tongue. That means their tongue is split at the end in two parts. The venom of the king cobra, the world's largest poisonous snake, is strong enough to kill an elephant. Stay back, Zeke. Zeke, did you know that snakes shed their skin? They rub their snout on something rough to split the old skin apart and then will slowly crawl out and leave their old skin behind. Snakes are carnivores, Zeke. That means that they eat other animals. The snake's scaly skin is certainly beautiful. Some snakes come in bright, vivid colors. Others have impressive patterns. Goodness, Zeke, these are very big snakes. I don't know about you, but I'm not all that comfortable around snakes. Some people keep them as pets, but I don't fancy cuddling a boa constrictor, do you? There are many species of snakes in the world. Some are very small and some incredibly long. So let's slither through the facts on snakes. We know snakes are carnivores. That means that they eat other animals. Snakes are reptiles and need to bask in the sun. Snakes slither from one place to another and they have scaly skin. I hope you enjoyed meeting the snake, Zeke. Here's another creepy crawly that gives me the creep, Zeke. Say hello to the cockroach. Cockroaches have six legs and at least 18 knees. Cockroaches can climb walls because they are equipped with a set of little claws on their feet designed for that very purpose. Zeke, these cockroaches are probably giving you a good sniff. They use their feelers or antennae as noses. Their sense of smell is so great, they recognize family and friends by their distinctive odors. Cockroaches like to live in groups and prefer the warm weather, and they're nocturnal. That means they come out at night. Cockroaches are attracted by food. They can often be found around rubbish bins or wherever food scraps have been left. Zeke, cockroaches are omnivores. That means that they will eat other animals and plants. In the case of the cockroach, they're scavengers and will eat almost anything. 
So, Zeke, what have we discovered about the creepy, crawly cockroach? We learnt that cockroaches are omnivores. They eat other animals as well as plants. They live in large groups and they're nocturnal, so they come out in the dark for a midnight snack. And cockroaches like the warm weather. That's the lowdown on cockroaches. Way to go, Zeke. There's no time to waste, Zeke. I've got another creepy crawly to introduce you to. This time, it's the fly. There are many kinds of flies, Zeke. Some that you might come across are common house flies, fruit flies, and gnats. Horse flies are another common type of fly. They bite. House flies are attracted to food and garbage. A clean home is the best defense against these annoying insects. Most babies are cute, but there's nothing adorable about these baby flies. Flies start out life as a larva or maggot. Flies have very big eyes. They are made up of hundreds of small parts that form a hexagon shape. That's right, Zeke. These insects do look like flies, but they're actually cicadas. Cicadas are the loudest insect. Their sound can be heard up to 400 meters away. Cicadas are not poisonous, and many animals gobble up these insects. But just like the fly, cicadas are fast and can buzz from one place to another. There are quite a few species of flies, Zeke. I'm not keen on the blowfly, but I do like the idea of fireflies. These amazing insects can put on a spectacular light show when it's dark. Let's recap what we've learnt about flies. We know that they have big eyes shaped like a hexagon and they start life as a larva. Flies are very fast and they buzz from one place to another. Time for you to buzz off too, Zeke. Well, Zeke, flies might be fast, but our next creepy crawly likes to move at a much slower pace. It's the snail. Snails can be found in gardens, in ponds, and even in the sea. They belong to a group of animals with a soft body called mollusks. The body of the snail is long, moist, and slimy. It has a shell to protect its soft body. When the snail is disturbed, it simply withdraws or pulls itself back into its shell. The snail has two pairs of tentacles on its head. The eyes are on the longer pair. The shorter pair is used for smelling and feeling its way around. Snails are herbivores. Remember, that means they only eat plants. So what else have we discovered about snails, Zeke? We know that snails are protected by a shell and that they have a slimy body. Snails are herbivores that only eat plants and they belong to the mollusk family. That was some very fast learning about a very slow creature, Zeke. Zeke, out of all the creatures we've looked at today, this one would have to be the creepiest and the crawliest. It's the spider. Some spiders are harmless, but many are poisonous and can give you a nasty bite. You should never pick up a spider, Zeke, especially a big hairy one like this. Ooh. Some spiders build webs and some don't. The web builders use their web to trap insects to eat. Spiders are arachnids and many have sharp fangs. All mother spiders spin soft silk around their tiny eggs to protect them.
spiders aren't insects, Zeke. Insects only have six legs, but spiders have eight. These creepy crawlies are arachnids too. They're scorpions, and just like some spiders, they can give you a nasty bite. Not too close, Zeke. You can look, but don't touch. Scorpions have four pairs of legs, and they have pincers. Zeke, guess what their favorite food is? Spiders. Scorpions are carnivores. That means that they eat meat. They paralyze their prey with the stinger located at the tip of their tail. Scorpions like to live under rocks and debris. They come out at night looking for food. So let's recap what you've learnt, Zeke. Spiders and scorpions are arachnids. Spiders have fangs, can spin webs to catch their prey, and they have eight legs. I hope you liked meeting the spider and scorpion, Zeke. Our last creepy crawly isn't nearly as frightening, Zeke. In fact, he's quite a cute little fellow. It's the worm, and he's a welcome visitor in the garden. A worm is a long, thin animal that lives in the dirt. They have a soft, rounded body and no legs or backbone. Many worms eat small plants and animals. Others feed on decaying matter. Yuck! Worms live where there is food, moisture, oxygen and a favourable temperature. If they don't have these things, they go somewhere else. A worm has no arms, legs or eyes. Even though they can't see, they can sense light. This allows them to burrow deep into the soil. Worms have moist, slimy skin and must stay that way to keep healthy. Zeke, did you know that a worm can eat its own weight each day? Worms are invertebrates. That means that they have no backbone. Worms tunnel deeply in the soil and bring subsoil closer to the surface, mixing it with the topsoil. That's why gardeners love worms. They do a lot of the work for them. OK, Zeke, we'd better get a wriggle on and look at what we've learnt about worms. Worms live in dirt and must stay slimy to stay healthy. Worms have no legs and are invertebrates. That means that they have no backbone. I hope you've learnt a lot about our creepy crawlies, Zeke. See you next time.